I'm dirty, I'm sweaty, I'm sore, I stink, but I did it. The Pemi Loop, 30 plus miles, 10,000 feet of elevation. If you wanna find out how much fun it was and how much of a struggle it was, check out the video. Today we're in Lincoln, New Hampshire, in the White Mountains, and we're going to be hiking the Pema Jawasset Loop, which is commonly known as the Pemi Loop. About 30 miles of trails, 10,000 feet of elevation, and somewhere's around nine 4Ks. It's going to be awesome. This custom All Trails map shows our traverse of the Pemi Loop. The direction was clockwise, starting at the Lincoln Woods parking lot at the bottom. After hiking 1.5 miles on the flat Lincoln Woods Trail, we'll turn left and follow the Osseo Trail. We'll follow this trail for its full length, 4.1 miles, to the Franconia Ridge Trail and our first 4K summit of the day, Mount Flume. Today I am joined by my colleagues Sam and Seth. We'll gain 2,950 feet in elevation as we work our way up to the first summit of the trip. Some portions of this trail are so steep that trail builders installed sections of long wooden steps. The Osseo Trail is listed as an elective trail for the Terrifying 25. This is my second elective from that list. I did the Beaverbrook Trail my first time ascending Mount Musalaki in 2019. We're about five miles into the hike and we stopped at what they call a down look here. We can see the Owl's Head, Garfield, and the Bonds off in the distance. And just peeking through here is uh, Flume, Mount Flume, which is our next destination, about a mile. Rain from the previous evening left some puddles on the trail. Oh man. Do we need a snack? Because if not, I suggest we keep moving. Eight miles into the hike, we've reached Mount Liberty here, another 4K, 4,459 feet. And we're looking at Franconia Ridge next. It's been a tough eight miles, let me tell you. Springs to get some water here. Three tenths of a mile down some pretty steep stuff. Not looking forward to going back up that. Got a 
couple of raindrops just before we get to the little haystack. It's supposed to just pass in a few minutes, hopefully it doesn't stick around. The foundation seen here is that of Mount Lafayette Summit House, which was built circa 1855 and fell into disrepair a decade later. Well, we're working our way down Lafayette now. And, uh, Trying to get to a stealth campsite before we go up Garfield there where the pond is so we can get some water. It's been a real long day. Definitely looking forward to camp today. Seven thirty. there's Garfield. Someplace between here and Garfield is a pond and some stealth site. And that's where we're hoping to stay. Almost there. The plan for today is to hike six miles to Guillaume campsite. On the way we'll peak bag Garfield and South Twin with Galehead as an optional side trek. It's day two. I was down in the mid 50s last night. Uh, comfortable for sleeping. We're uh, putting our tents away, finished breakfast, got some water. We should be out of here in about 15 minutes. Heading for the summit of Garfield. So we started our day off with four tenths of a mile of extreme climbing to get to the top of Garfield here. Beautiful view, definitely a great way to start your morning. About five miles into the hike, we're at Galehead. Stop for lunch, use the facilities, get some water. 
We've got less than a mile to get to South Twin, which will be our next 4K. Sam took a quick run down and grabbed um, Galehead 4K. Good for her. I wasn't feeling it. Been struggling a little bit with my sciatic nerve. Try to roll everything out. Hopefully that'll help me get through the rest of the hike. Twin Mountain is a killer. We're about halfway up it. He's still got a long ways to go. Taking a little break. <sighs> Another break. At least the wind is blowing. One tenth of a mile left to go up south twin. This, this is killer. After the second day, this is really killer. For Seth and I, this was our second 4K of the day. It was Sam's third. So we finally made it to the top of Twin here. On the distance is Mount Washington. You can see the Cog Railway over there. I'm looking this way is North Twin. On your left takes you up to uh, Zealand, Z Cliff. And Sam just went up there to grab the peak. And then we're gonna, our campsite is over the backside of this little spur here, which is a guillot spur. Behind us is guillot. I'm sitting here, relaxing, trying to rest up. Shouldn't be far to the campsite. Can't wait to get there. When we arrived at guillot campsite, the camp host informed us that there weren't enough tent platforms for the three of us. I opted to stay in the shelter, which was actually very nice. I later learned that there were over 75 campers at Guillaume that night. On day three, we got an early start. Packing up was easier this morning with the spring, privy, bear boxes, and the cooking area all conveniently located in camp. Good job. How was it? It was gorgeous. I'll bet it was. Beautiful morning for it. Morning, day three. We just hiked about a mile from the campsite. We're now on Bond, one of the 4Ks, our first 4K of the morning. We've got two more to do. Sam already grabbed West Bond. We got about 10 miles to get out of here and uh, it's gonna be a long hike given <laughs> the condition of my legs. Standing here on the third day, it's amazing, but we basically hiked all these mountains that you see over here, along the rim there. They came up over there in Lincoln. And we gotta go down one more, gotta go up one more 4K, and then it should all be downhill from there. It's been a tough hike. Definitely yesterday was grueling, even though the miles were shorter than the first day. I was dealing with uh, <laughs> sore, sore legs and sciatica. I'm hoping it holds off today so I can get out to the car at a reasonable hour, get on home to Connecticut. It's been a beautiful weekend. We've been so lucky to have good weather here. And it's been a great trip with my colleagues, Sam and Seth, really making it a lot of fun. Couldn't have asked for a better weekend. Wow, I'm standing on Bond Cliff now. It's the third day of the Pemi Loop, and this is the last 4K. It's all downhill from here, but the view, it's just amazing here. We can see everything we hiked from here. It's a grueling hike. If you're gonna do this, make sure you're in good shape and you're well prepared. This was tough. This was a really tough hike.
bond cliff complete, thankfully the next nine miles would be all downhill, unless of course your knees hurt. The Black Brook provided water to drink and to cool off with. About four miles into the hike, out of 11. For our Black Brook, we're gonna get some water here before we uh, continue on down the mountain. Beautiful place. That's gonna wrap it up for today. We got about 30 miles in, over 30 miles, 10,000 feet of elevation for the weekend. Three days of backpacking. The Pemi Loop is no joke. Thanks for coming along and see you out here in the next one. If you're interested in seeing my all trails recording, check the link in the description below.